until now, Ukraine's air defenses say they have largely succeeded in destroying a substantial number of the Russian rockets being fired. On Thursday, the Kremlin threw in a new wrinkle, in an early morning attack on targets, Russian forces apparently added several hypersonic missiles, known as Kinzels, or daggers in Russian, Ukrainian forces say their defensive capabilities are not up to the task of taking out a Kinzel. Hypersonic missiles such as the Kinzel, are a fairly new breed of weapon, that combines superior speed with the ability to maneuver to evade being shot down. Not only are they difficult to detect, but they make radical and unpredictable course changes as they get close to a target. The Kinzel entered service in December 2017 and was one of the six new Russian strategic weapons unveiled by Russian President Vladimir Putin. In May 2018, 10 MiG-31K capable of using Kinzel missiles were on experimental combat duty and ready to be deployed. By December 2018, aircraft armed with Kinzel missiles had conducted 89 sorties over the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. By February 2019, crews of the MiG-31K Kinzel missile carriers had performed more than 380 training sorties with the missile, of which at least 70 have used air-to-air -air refueling. The weapon made its public debut during the Aviaturts International Contest in August 2019. According to TASS, the first launch of Kinzel in the Arctic took place mid-November, 2019, the launch was reportedly carried out by a MiG-31K from Alenia Air Base. The missile hit a ground target at Proving Ground, reaching a speed of Mach 10. In June 2021, a Kinzel missile was launched by a MiG-31K from Khmeimam Air Base on a ground target in Syria. A separate aviation regiment was formed in 2021 which is armed with MiG-31K aircraft, with the Kinzel hypersonic missile. During the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, the Russian military said, used Kinzel missiles to destroy an alleged underground weapons depot of the Ukrainian armed forces in Delyatin on 18 March 2022, and a fuel depot in Konstantinovka the next day. U.S. President Joe Biden said, of its use as you all know, it's a consequential weapon, but with the same warhead on it as any other launched missile, it doesn't make that much difference, except it's almost impossible to stop it. On 9 May, according to reports, Russian Tu-22 aircraft launched three Kinzel-type missiles at targets in the port city of Edessa. Three MiG-31K fighter aircraft with Kinzel hypersonic missiles redeployed to the Chkalovsk airfield in the Kaliningrad region on 18 August 2022. On 9 March 2023, a barrage of 84 missiles, including six Kinzels, was fired at Ukrainian cities, their largest use to date. Ukraine has no way to stop Kinzels, it is not known whether the Patriot missile system can stop such missiles. An even more sophisticated weapon, Russia's Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle can fly at speeds as high as Mach 27, according to the Kremlin.
Another hypersonic, the Zirkin anti-ship missile, has also reportedly been developed, but there are no reports of the Zirkin or a Vanguard being used in combat. The Kinzel is launched from an aircraft and has a shorter range than a Vanguard, according to James Acton, co-director of the Nuclear Policy Program at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. But last year, after the first reported use of the Kinzel in Ukraine, Acton downplayed the significance of the weapons as a game-changer in the conflict. Last May, Van Herk told a Senate Armed Services Strategic Forces subcommittee, Russia was having challenges with some of their hypersonic missiles, as far as accuracy in Ukraine. However, Viktor Cha, who served on the National Security Council during the George W. Bush administration, told NPR last year, hypersonics could pose a real challenge even to U.S. missile defense systems. At the time, Cha was referring to hypersonic missiles being developed by North Korea. U.S. missile defense systems are good, he said, but they are mostly geared towards stopping a handful of fairly primitive missiles from North Korea. Those systems dwarf the type of defenses that Ukraine is using in the fight against Russia. They would need to be improved to be able to handle more sophisticated sorts of missiles, Cha said. The Pentagon, too, has expressed some urgency on the subject. Last year, D.D. Martinez, controller of the U.S. Missile Defense Agency, said, Hypersonic missiles pose a new challenge to our missile defense systems. 